Dus iedereen heeft één voorstel. Uh, ik zit nog met de Anna. Twee over, ik zit nog met Craig. Twee man. En dan gaat zij naar de 7 minutes. The first 7 minutes you're going to do Alhambra of 20 American swings. They are the kettlebell swings that go right up overhead. Uh, 20 squat thrusts, jumping your feet in and out. And 20 ab mat sit-ups. Repeat, repeat, repeat as many times as you can in the 7 minutes. You'll get one minute's rest and then you'll move into a different seven minute arm wrap where you'll do 15 deadlifts, 10 overhead squats and five burpees. So let's just talk about the movements. Um, the first set, pretty straightforward. I mean, the second set is as well, it's just the second set's got the overhead squats in it, right? So the American swings, hips back, nice strong extension through your hips and your knees finishing with the weight fully up overhead. Go lighter or heavier as you wish. For the squat thrust, from a plank, jumping your feet in and out on your hands. Okay, so start in a plank, jump your feet in, jump your feet out, jump your feet in, jump your feet out, and so on and so forth. If you need to make that easier, then you could put your hands up on a raised surface and do it from there instead. Then with the ab mat sit-ups, if you've got uh, an ab mat, of course, go ahead and use it. If not, then just the same thing, but without the ab mat, so soles of the feet together, all the way back, touch the ground above your head, all the way up. Make sure you get right up when you come out of the ab mat sit-up. Okay, so don't hang back here somewhere, sit right up, touch the ground in front of your feet. You'll then get one minute's rest and we'll move on to the second part, which is 15 deadlifts, 10 overhead squats and 5 burpees. So, the deadlifts could be, again, done with anything. Uh, if you've got a bar, feel free to go ahead and use it. But otherwise, with the likes of a kettlebell or a dumbbell, start with the weight in between your feet. Okay, Don't have your feet too wide apart, keep them directly below your body somewhere. Hips back, make sure you keep your chest up, stick your butt out, bend your knees just enough to allow you to pick up the weight and stand fully up with it. So weight slightly through your heels, hips back, leaning over uh, and standing. For the overhead squats, if you've got something like a broomstick, just got off camera, a broomstick's ideal for this and I would say it's preferable for it, okay? So with a broomstick, if you wanted to make this a little bit more tricky, you could hang something from each end, you know, a water bottle uh, tie on each end, a shoe tie on each end, a shoe with something in it. Uh, you know, you can improvise and, and add some weight to the overhead squat. That's if they're not a challenging enough already. So you're going to try and keep this bar directly above where you tie your shoes, okay? You're going to try and keep it above there for the whole of the squat. So keep your abs nice and switched on, hips go back, knees go out, sit down into your squat and come right up. When you're doing it, what you're trying to avoid is things like the weight just going like away forward from your the middle of your body, okay, so you're trying to avoid it going away like forward there. Um, if you add a little bit of weight to it, you're going to feel that much more. Don't feel like you have to add weight to it, it's absolutely fine to do this with just the, the stick will be challenging enough for, for most people. Um, if you don't have anything like that, then we're looking at maybe one weight, and these are still like challenging movements because you've got to be able to hold that weight directly above the centre of your body. Um, so an overhead squat is always going to be challenging no matter how you do it. If you are just not getting on with it at all, then absolutely go ahead and do goblet squats in their place. That's absolutely fine. And then the burpees, chest to floor, I'm sure, I'm sure we're pretty familiar with the burpees by now. Chest to floor, feet in, jump and clap. You can step in and out, you can use a raised surface. It's all good. Okay, so as many rounds of that as you can do also in seven minutes. <laughs>